Hey, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm here to bring you Disney World, the facts you need to know before you go. I've got 22 things to tell you that sh they're good tips that you need to know before you go. Number one, there's always construction, so some rides may be closed, and if there's a specific ride you want to go on, check find the times make sure that's not one of the ones that's closed or under construction because they're always doing that tip number two sometimes rides are on hold because of unexpected delays we had a fast pass for test track and we were almost next in line and they had some problems getting stuff up on the computers and we had to wait about 20 minutes. So no matter how long you get there, always give yourself extra time. Always know things are gonna take longer than you think. And we even went on animal safari with an extra pass. And you know what? There was an animal blocking the way. So we couldn't go out onto the ride because we had to wait until the animal had pulled away. That's just the way it is. It's always gonna be some problems. Number three, if you go to special ticketed events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or the Christmas parties, there's going to be a lot of people. It seems like there's more people there than at, at the park on a regular day. Don't be upset. Know in advance that there's always problems. There's a lot of people there. You're going to have to wait for everything. I know they say, oh, you don't have to have fast pass, all this stuff. You're gonna be bumping into people all the time. Just be aware, any special ticketed event is going to be crowded. Tip number four, the staff is polite. Always, the cast members are great, but uh, the others, not so much. You're gonna run into people who are gonna to wanna to jump the line. You're gonna run into people who are gonna push you, are gonna jump in front of you, stand in front of you. We had people where the people right in front of us wanted to stop and take a picture in front of something at Haunted Mansion, and two people behind us had to jump in front of us and in front of them to get there quicker. Well, you know, the line wasn't gonna move any quicker anyway. And then they got in front of us and they wanted their group of five that were behind us to get ahead. At that point, I was like, you couldn't wait for them. We're not letting them get ahead. So they had to let us go. Try to be nice, but be aware that now there's might not be. Don't let it get to you. Just remember, you're there to have a good time. Okay, a lot of these things they don't want you to know before you go. Tip number five, there are tons of sicknesses, colds, flu. I got the flu, I got it at Disney. You're gonna touch something, the kids are gonna be there, and you gotta have hand sanitizer. I thought I was careful. I still got the flu. Bring hand sanitizers. Expect that you might get a cold or the flu. Maybe you won't get it like I did. Maybe you'll get nothing. But be prepared just in case. And make sure you wash your hands before you eat and all those good things because there's flu bugs everywhere. Tip number six. If you're in a motel and you get a free drink because they give you these nice free mugs, it's great except going to get the drink from your room might be quite a walk. Bring your own bottled drinks as well. They have a refrigerator and there's an ice machine there. You, you gotta have something else to drink unless you wanna walk down. If you're a big soda drinker or coffee drinker and you don't mind walking down every five or 10 minutes, depends how often you drink. I like to have fluids with me all the time. I had ice and then I just had water from the tap. But you know, it's uh, always be prepared. Don't think, oh, I don't need any drinks because you're gonna need them. All right. When you go to Magic Kingdom, give yourself extra time. The only way to get there is by ferry or monorail. So it takes time. We went to the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Party. We thought, oh, it starts at seven. We got plenty of time. We got stuck on the monorail. They had to wait and all these things were happening. We had delays. We didn't get there till 7.30, quarter of eight. And we were there, we thought at six o'clock, ready to go and it's late. Remember, ferry, monorail, and had your kingdom. Give yourself time. Number eight, if you have a problem walking long distances, don't be afraid to take the scooter. They have scooters in the front. They have scooters at some of the uh, motels. Get them. But be prepared because you've never been cut off so many life times until you have ridden a scooter. People think that they're faster than you. For some reason, they just think like scooters aren't real people and they can cut you off all the time. Be prepared and don't run people over. Make sure you know how to drive it, but be ready and say, just go as slow as you can, but just keep going. That's the way it's gonna be. All right, number nine. There can be long lines at the safety checks. Be prepared for that too. 
don't be stupid and bring weapons or a pocket knife or, or something that you can't uh, bring in the park. Medications, make sure they're all in their individual bottles. If they're all mixed up, they may not allow them. Be prepared what you bring. I saw somebody with a CBD oil on TV that got kicked out of the park, couldn't get in the park. Know what you're bringing, be safe, be use things you can. If not, go to Disney.com, check and see what you can bring in the park. All right, number 10, the dining plan. I found it very useful, but before you buy it, check it out, because there's two types of dining plans. One of them has like two or three meals a day where they're sit down. That's a lot of eating. Even with one meal a day was what we had, uh, we still had plenty of food. And the counter services, they seem to go quick. Everybody ends up with extra snacks. When you have extra snacks at the store, go in, buy some Rice Krispie treats as gifts to take home for other people. Use all your points, don't leave them there. You can always use the snacks for something that you can bring home. But learn about what the dining plan is before you go in it because even not everything is always included. Sometimes it's it's usually just a meal and a uh, appetizer, not an appetizer, a dessert, a meal, a dessert, and a beverage. All right. Um, if you make a reservation you and you can't get to the reservation in time or you decide I'm too tired, I'm not going to go, you're going to charge you. $20 a person so what you need to do or $10 a person what you need to do is go on your app change the date change the time change it to a time that you can go and if for some reason you can't go the next day and you have it changed the next day cancel it but cancel it 24 hours in advance but don't just not show up because you're gonna lose money you don't want to do that all right another thing about the dining plan your entire party is connected. If you go with 10 people and you're all on the same wristband and you all can go and you just click for a meal, one person could eat 10 meals and they clicked it all off and nobody else had their meals. It all counts together. So be sure you know what everyone has. If you're separated, be sure this party knows how many points they can spend, what they can do. Don't have go and then say, I, I didn't have a meal and you can't have one because people spent all the, the points. You gotta learn and you gotta know what everybody else has. Number 14, collector pins. If you're a collector like I am and you like to get the different pins, you have a lanyard, you go around to the different castmates. Remember, they're not gonna have the rare pins on them. They're gonna have common pins. So you don't wanna go and trade some of your rare ones for the common ones. But if you do have a rare one, they often have somewhere placed in a good stash somewhere where they have rare ones and you might say to them hey i have this rare pin do you have anything rare that you can change for it and they might go into the back or under something and find you one so be careful and only have give a rare pin for a rare pin don't expect that you're going to find them on their lanyards because you're not gonna they know what's good they work there they're there every day be sure you don't do it some are collectors too so some collect for themselves but they usually tell you if they do all right, number 15. If you have the scooters or you have anything that needs electricity, it's hard to find the plugs. You might want to look around very often, ask a lot of people before you do it because the plugs are not just everywhere. I found one in, no, two in Animal Kingdom and I found one in Hollywood Studios. Now the other ones, I, I was lucky I uh, didn't need them, but if you use scooters or you use something, try to find the plugs and charge up as often as you can because you don't want to run out of space. But if you have a scooter from them, you can always call that company. They'll bring another scooter down. You can switch scooters back and forth. Okay. Now, another tip that they won't necessarily tell you. Say you purchase something bigger, something you don't want to carry. If you've been there and you're, you're in a motel, one of their motels, and you are going to be there at least two more days, they can have it delivered to your room. It's a good tip to know. We ordered a nice picture. We wanted to go on all these rides. I didn't want to leave it that somebody could bang it. I didn't want to, I didn't know where to put it. So I just asked them, hey, can you deliver it to our room? And they said, it'll be there tomorrow after one. That was great. We just came from our room, went to the uh, toy where they sell the store, little pins and all the stuff they sell, and we got the item. Okay. Um, if you get the dining plan, back to the dining plan. If you get the dining plan, remember, tips are not included. You want to leave a tip for the servers all the time. So you, you got to bring cash. A lot of people don't bring cash. They think, oh, everything's paid for. It, you can do it on a credit card. I'm not saying you can't, but be prepared that you need to pay your tips 
separate from the dining plan. It's not included. Okay. If you have a time problem, don't ever be afraid to ask a cast member for anything. We had a time problem where uh, we had a uh, something set for one of the rides at 3 o'clock and we had the reservations to eat at 3.30 and there was no way we were going to finish and make the, the reservations for the food. So we went and we talked to the person who was in charge of the ride or whatever and they said, hey, here's a certificate, come back in when you're done eating and we'll run you through the fast pass then. Cast members are amazing and they will do you favors if you ask. They're there to help you. They want to make your day the best day you can. Don't hesitate to use them, but don't abuse them. Don't overuse it and don't expect things. Just when you have a problem, then go see one and ask and see if they can help you. Maybe they can't. Sometimes they're, they can't. They're not perfect, but they'll do if they can what they can for you. All right. Now, you better know you can't bring ice into Disney. Most people do know that. But what you can do is every place you go that serves drinks, unless they're just alcohol, can give you a glass of water. They'll give you a cup of ice water. If you've got those free mugs that you stayed at the hotel, just pour the ice water into there. It'll stay nice and cool. Don't go around buying a bottle of water, spending, I don't know, it's probably four bucks at Disney for a bottle of water, when you could just ask for a nice cup of cold water anywhere. You don't have to waste any of your points for water or any of your money. Just ask there. Okay, now if you're like me and you like to videotape things when you go to Disney, you wanna videotape uh, the uh, light show or the Lion King, know that Disney owns the rights to those. You can, buy, you can tape them, you can put them up on YouTube, but you're not gonna get paid for them. If they're Disney products, the, the, the music is Disney, they own those rights, and that's the way it should be. And so beware, you can watch those on our page. We like to show them and, and different things. But if you're a YouTuber and you're thinking you're going to make money from them, you're not. Uh, I, you know, I, I just want the YouTubers to know because there's probably a lot of you out there. All right, um, two more tips. But before I give you my last two tips, please subscribe to our page. That helps us a lot. I want to give you tips on Disney and tips on any, all the different places in Florida and a lot of places that we go because we travel all the time. But I need you to subscribe and hit the bell. That would really help me a lot. I would appreciate it. All right, my last two tips. Buses are slow. Think about driving. We stayed in the uh, one of the um, the music all star all star movies, and we found it was faster just to take our car go where we wanted, rather than waiting for a bus, getting on the bus, waiting a while taking all the other rights to drop this one off and that one off and this one off and that one off and then get there and then when you come back if it's really crowded you got to wait for the right bus you got to get on the bus then you got to go back and stop and stop and stop it's free to park if you are in one of the motels hotels or motels so use your car if you feel you want to be in a hurry i like it and plus i wanted to, we needed to bring a scooter so we fit it in the back of our car it was great don't always have to use the buses. My last tip, this is an obvious tip, but remember it and don't get upset. Rides are short and lines are long. Whenever you go to Disney, it seems like you can be waiting in line for an hour and a half for certain rides. And then you get on the ride and it says four minutes and it's over. Don't get upset, don't get disappointed. They have to get so many people in, so they're gonna make the rides short a certain amount anyway know that the rides are short know that the lines are long expect it don't be surprised don't be shocked don't be disappointed that's the way it is well i hope you liked what we brought for you today i hope you watched some of our other videos because we have a lot of videos on disney like i said and we're trying to bring you every bit of information we can i would appreciate it if you would put some comments on this page and like it as well um, because uh, we want to know what you want to know about Disney if, if, if you put up something on topic and say hey I really want to know something about Magic Kingdom or you know I want to know which ride is better or scarier or will make me more nauseous or why or let us know we can make a video on it we could tell you what you need to know what you want to know about Disney other people want to know too. And not just about Disney, because we do a lot of different things in Florida. If there's somewhere that you know that you say, hey, go check them out, make a video, let us know about it. We want to do that. We want to do it for you, because uh, we, we, you got to make you happy. 
So I hope this has been helpful for you. These were our 22 tips about Disney facts you need to know before you go. Have a good time when you go to Disney. This is Rockin' Robin. Have a magical day.